All right, thank you for joining me, Afro DJ Max Free Weekly Ableton Live Rack, and this week I'm sampling my Korg Monotron. This is a nice little analog synthesizer. It's got a great filter, and despite its size and this tiny speaker, you plug it into an amp, and this thing sounds huge. Um, comes with this ribbon controller, and that for me makes it almost impossible to play. I mean, it's really hard to be on pitch, and my fingers barely even fit on this thing. So I've gone to the liberty of sampling it and bringing it into Ableton Live. <laughs> And now it's very easy to play, and I think it sounds pretty cool, pretty thick. Makes a nice bass sound. Um, so I've gone ahead and put on the filter here. And the resonance is over here, so you can play around with that. From there, I also put on an LFO, which modulates the filter. So if you want to look at the LFO, it's... Um, right here, when I turn this knob, it turns it on and changes the time. I've also put on a filter envelope attack. Whoops, that's right here. So it changes... Um, your filter will follow this particular uh, slope. And the attack just tells you how long it's going to take. Right now it would take about 20 seconds. Let's make that a little shorter, about three seconds. And you can adjust that to taste. I've put on an attack here. Let's see this thing kind of fade in in volume and then release. So, do you want it to last a long time or a really short cutoff? Next, I've played around with the, um, you know, the glide right here. So if you turn this all the way to the left, there's no glide. And it operates polyphonically, unlike the monotron. But as we turn it up, now we get the portamento. Still polyphonic. All the way up. It becomes a mono synth with the glide. And the last thing I just want to show you is the preset selector here. So let's see, I got four samples and they all come on at a different time based on this macro knob. So as I turn this, you'll notice this orange guy starts moving. So right over here, it's just one sample. Let's turn it all the way up. Turn this all the way down. And then as we move it over, we get another sample mixed in. Again, another one. And if we go all the way over here, this last sample is an octave lower, so it gives you some extra bass. So I think, you know, if you want some heavy bottom, this is the way to go. And one last thing is my mod wheel here. Introduces a little vibrato. Just move it up and you get your vibrato. Kind of handy. So that's the rack. Um, I have another version of it right here. 
This one is always a monosynth. Um, there's only one sample inside. But I guess if you know, you're feeling kind of pure and want to stay true to the original, you might want to use this one. Let's just put that on. Something about it, you know, kind of nice on its own. And on this one, I've just put a chorus, a delay, and a delay time. The delay is set to repitch mode, which allows you to twist that stuff around. And the way you get repitch mode, just go to your delay, right click it, and change it from fade to repitch. Nice little secret function on all those Ableton delays. All right. Well, thank you again for joining me on these free Ableton Live racks. And I look forward to seeing you next week. Take care.